Today you're going to learn about Canva, an online graphic editing tool where you can take a regular photograph, crop it to size, apply a filter, add some text and graphic overlays. If it sounds like fun, it is. Let's get started. When you first log into Canva, you're given the option to choose a size. That's how you start. These sizes can be for print materials or social media sites, but you do need to know the size when you start out. For example, on a Facebook cover, it's 851 by 315 pixels. A Facebook post, it's kind of odd, but it's 940 by 788 pixels. Now you really don't need to know what a pixel is. We're just going to click Facebook post, it's going to load the editor, and we're going to have a space, a square, that matches that size. Now let's give a quick tour of Canva so you kind of know the layout, and then we'll get started. On the left side is layouts, and these layouts are things that kind of help you create graphics. In this case, they're loaded with holiday graphics for the winter. If we go down to elements, this is a, a category of lines and squares and shapes and that kind of stuff to help you make something. Uh, text kind of gives some neat layout ideas for creating text. Uh, backgrounds, you can choose different backgrounds. If you just have text and you want to convey a message and you don't have a photograph, you can use one of their backgrounds. And then there's uploads, and that's what we're going to actually start with. We're going to upload our own image. So I'm going to click Upload. Let's go to Hotel. Say Open. It uploads our image. So I select it on the left side, and it loads into the editor window. But I do need to fill the space top to bottom, left and right. Otherwise, it'll look funny having some empty space there. There's handles on each corner of the picture. I'm going to drag it down to one side, get it all the way at the bottom, grab that corner at the top, start dragging it bigger. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now the picture is filling the entire frame, but I notice toward the bottom there's a bunch of asphalt. It doesn't look too good, so I want to hide that. I'm going to grab the handle on the lower left, and make the picture a little bit larger to hide some of that asphalt. I don't think this is the best angle for the building, so I'm going to adjust it to the side. I think that looks pretty good right about there. That looks like a pretty nice place to stay. The next thing we want to do is add some text to put on top of this image. So I'm going to select text and click Add Subheading. I already have some text ready to go, so I'm just going to paste it right in place. Let me resize the frame that's holding that text. It starts out with black text on top of the picture, and it's pretty hard to read. Just for the editing purposes, I'm going to change that text color to white as we play around with this. Okay, the next thing I want to do is give my graphic a heading. So on the left side, I'm going to select this first one, and you notice it says free. And that's how Canva makes their money. These elements over here, some of them are free, some of them cost money. Just be careful how you click. Your whole image might be free, or it might just cost a buck or two. So I'm going to click this text image, or text element, excuse me, I'm going to click the text and I'm going to type in our title. Notice how the text resized to fit the space. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. The text grows in size. And if I drag it left and right, every time it reaches a center point, it kind of has a little bit of a pause as you go back and forth. And that helps you get things all lined up really well. So we have the text at the bottom. I'm going to size that as well. Not sure how big I want to make it, but I'm not sure if I like that little that the word fun on its own line. Probably want to make it a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger. You know, I kind of like that. That looks like a pretty good layout. Let's move it left and right and find that center part. 
center position, which is right there. I want to change this text to where it's sitting on top of the image. So I'm going to alter the image. I click the image itself, then I go down to filter. I get a couple options here. There's some predefined filters I can select, and then there's some manual controls as well. So let's click through some of the filters. And notice that in some cases the text stands out more prominently, in other cases it doesn't. Just find the right filter for you. I'm going to choose Selfie. I kind of like that filter. All that yellow looks pretty good. But we're going to do something extra special here. I'm going to click Advanced Options on the filter, and on Blur, I'm going to increase it. That's a little bit too much. There we go. I'm going to give it about an 8 on the blur. And that pushes that picture into the background. And the text stays on top. I think we can do something a little bit more here. So on the left, I'm going to go to the Elements menu, click Shapes, and select a square. Now that square is purple, but I'm just going to use it as a background on the text. So bring it down to size. Go left. Let's see. Let's get that right in the center. That looks pretty good. Now change this background to white. Then clicking the extra arrow, I'm going to go to Transparency and bring it down. That might be about right. Then I'm going to click the text. Ah, but I can't click the text because the image, the graphic, the square, is on top. So I'm going to push that to the background, back button. Now the graphic is behind the text. So when I go to select the text, it's selectable. I'm going to change the text color to black. So now we have this soft white background with the black text sitting on top of it. I think that looks pretty good. I do want to change the color of the Spring Conference as well. I'm going to make that black. There. I think this is starting to look pretty good. But I do want to change the font for each of these elements. Okay, I think we're almost there, but I do notice a problem. When I typed Spring Conference in the top graphic, I typed it in all lowercase. The previous font was an all uppercase font, so I need to make that correction. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I have a bonus tip to show you. I'm going to click this Duplicate tab. And Canva makes a copy down below. And what I want to experiment with here is change the filter on the image to see if I can make it have a little bit more pop. So let's go to the filter option. I'm going to choose Nordic and then advanced options and I'm going to give that a blur as well. A little bit too much blur, bring it down. Hmm. I'm not sure which graphic I like, but at least I have the option to choose between one or the other. The last step is to download the image. So if I click download, I get a couple options. I can download it as an image or a PDF. Now I have a trick to show you. If you decide that you want PNG, it just downloads the whole thing because I have two images. But I don't want that, so I'm going to cancel. Instead I'm going to say download and click options. In this case, I think I like the first image more than the second one, so I'm going to say just the first image, and then say download. And this way I don't get a zip file, I just get the image, which is a little bit easier to handle. So once you have your image, post it to Facebook, let everyone know about your upcoming event.